it's 1911 time we got the proper package and everything here <laughs> Oh yeah, really cool 1911 and holster, and if you like 1911s like I do, this is certainly a really cool piece of history. Alright, original magazine too, how about that? Okay, we're looking at a, a beautiful Colt 1911, well some people uh, may say, well that one looks a little beat up. Uh, this one here... Uh, for those of you, uh, this is a real World War II issued 1911. Uh, during this was manufactured in the early 40s, uh, from what I understand, very early 40s. Uh, it's a Colt here with the G H D. I think it was like something like Guy H Jury, or um, that was the inspector for Colt, and it's got the checkered arched mainspring housing. Really cool. And of course, the really cool part right there, United States property. Look at that, 1911, M1911A1, U.S. Army. Really cool. The um, these these are just something awesome about them. I, I'm a big, really big 1911 fanatic, so uh, this is something that's just super cool. Uh, to me, it's it's a brass ring of any kind of 1911 collection. That's for sure. Uh, this one is certainly neat, and I'm very proud to have something like this. It's got the uh, wide hammer, and this is a uh, you know some of the upgrades that they did uh, for to make this the A1, which they uh, shortened the trigger. And this one is a milled trigger, actually, not a stamp trigger, which a uh, uh, very early uh, model, I guess. Um, from what I could tell, this was uh, pretty much, you know, it hasn't really been arsenally, uh, arsenal reworked or anything. You don't see any of the, uh, the stampings there. Uh, sometimes you'll see like SA or uh, some, some kind of uh, rework stamping there. It doesn't have that. Uh, for, so it's probably, uh, for the most part, been untouched, but really hard to tell. Uh, but you got a lot of the proof marks all over it. I'm not really a, a serious... Uh, Wikipedia guy on it, but uh, you know there's a lot of these uh, proofing marks on it. the The barrel is marked uh, Colt on the side of it, uh, not on the top where I've seen some of them marked there. It does have the earlier sights on it. You can see that uh, that uh, somebody had told me. Well, that's because it's a definite earlier 40s uh, just kind of a 1911 there. Not until like the later 40s, I guess, maybe some things change. But it's got the uh, phenolic uh, resin type uh, brown grips on it, or the keys grips, I guess. You know, so, a little uh, checkered. The uh, thumb safety there is checkered. So is the slide release, or slide lock, whatever you want to call it. And they extended uh, the beaver tail a bit so you don't get uh, too much hammer bite. And... Um, I guess if you had a little bit of meteor hands, you might get a little bit of biting from it. But vertical serrations, really cool. And boy, if this thing could talk, uh, you could imagine what it would be saying. Of course, with the proper packaging and everything with it, you know, you know that that's just uh, complete that picture. That's just super cool. Right there. I do have this other one. This is another uh, 1942, an early Boyt holster with the little lanyard and everything on it. And this one's pretty neat as well. I've always liked this configuration, the A1 configuration with the arch mainspring housing. It's kind of why I brought the old uh, Series 70 out because the Series 70 really does offer that uh, that kind of um, a neat uh, package of following that gun with the arch mainspring housing, the shorter trigger, you know, it does have a more of a narrow hammer, but uh, that's pretty cool, you know, it kind of follows that. Uh, also, kind of interesting, I'll show this one, this is a commercial model from 1930, and this has a lot of the characteristics of that gun on this one, you know, you got the uh, wide 
spur hammer, short trigger. That's actually you know the, it, pretty much the same gun with the arched checkered mainspring housing. Uh, you know this is a very early commercial gun, and it's kind of neat to see that. But this one here has been parkerized, uh, a kind of a shade of uh, you know kind of a really cool kind of a gray, but green kind of finish on it, which. I've always loved. Boy, that is something nice. And I, when I searched for these, you know, I, I wanted one that was, it's been carried, it's been there, it's done that because, boy, that it just shows the character and the U.S. history of it. You know, just that, you know, somebody had carried this over there. Who knows where it was would have been, and uh, maybe it was, you know, used, fired. I don't know, <laughs> but it defended our freedom for our country, America, right there. So I'm happy to have this one in the collection. Uh, it's a Colt. That's what's really cool about it. Uh, you know, there, of course, there's other makers that are, uh, you know, even more rare or whatnot, but um, I've always liked the Colt, and that really is the true Colt 1911 uh, that I like. This is the, I actually like these better than I like the, uh, the original World War I 1918 models. I really like the War War II guns. So there it is. I'm Bat Jack JW. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll just let you gander and take a look at that baby right there just for a few more seconds here, just so we can uh, definitely enjoy this piece of history. Really, really an awesome piece. And that is it <laughs> to the sunny slopes of long ago.